Okay, let's start. This is all the power cable ground going to the power supply. Hey boy, a lot of work, a lot of work to do, but that's for a good cause. Okay, I'm just gonna do a demonstration how to uh, install Anderson power pole. So you strip the cable, uh, it's around 3.8, it's a little bit short, but it's okay. And then you use a crimper and you enter it in the right position where you see here on 30 amps, that's a 30 amps connector. And then you go all the way through because it won't open again, then it clicks. There you go. And you have a solid crimp. Okay, hold on, the autofocus. I'll put it in manual. Hold on a second. And now you see. Sorry about that. I have a small three inch screen so you see the crimp and that's how it goes. And when you put it in a sleeve, okay, so you have to do is you put upward like this. For touching the metal inside so you just slide it in hold on okay I'm on the right and you're gonna hear a click there you go so the connector is installed
Oof, what a job. It took me all weekend to uh, organize all the cable and everything. The only easy part that I had was to um, remanage all the DC uh, wire because they were um, actually uh, just putting some Anderson connector and remove the power supply. So this was quite an easy task. Took me maybe one hour and a half to uh, put all the slugs for the uh, Anderson power pole for all the equipment, installing the the uh, the uh, rig runner 4012. Uh, also, uh, what I did in that time is uh, make the cable uh, to plug in the, the power bar to the power supply. Uh, my power supply also was vibrating the 35 amps, so I put some bushing on the uh, on the screws on the uh, transfo. So I did all that around an hour and a half, and all the rest took me around 20 hours. So. That was, that was quite a job. I could not uh, film everything because my shack is pretty small. It's about uh, maybe 10 by 7. So it's pretty small. But I, I did took some shots uh, at the end behind the desk. And something to keep in mind. You remember when I was saying in my previous video, uh, if you use tie wrap, you will have to cut everything when you need to remove or add an equipment. Well, it's similar with those, you know, wire organizer because they're so full when you open it, everything falls out. So everything is mixed up. And um, I had a few issues after that because it, when I plug everything back in the shack, um, I had a few stuff that didn't work. So I had to look around for my computer that is right there. And what I needed is to pull the computer out but it, the, the wire are so tight in the back because they are all in the uh, in the wire organizer that it, it unplugs uh, some uh, some plugs behind the uh, the uh, PC tower and uh, it was a nightmare to plug it back without removing everything from uh, from the uh, wire organizer so one thing uh, I have to tell you an advice uh, would be uh, to make sure that things that you move frequently don't put it in there because you know you you'll be anyway I was swearing a lot <laughs> while I was doing it so uh, make sure that everything uh, that you move uh, frequently uh, is able to uh, it's easy to remove so I did a, a few uh, things to manage that after that also what I had, I had my uh, my screen here for my TS990. Uh, I did put a thing like that, and this desk I did last about an hour try to remove this to build my own shelf, but this is actually built in, and I wanted to, I, I like my desk, so I wanted to keep you know uh, the original one, but I cannot remove. So I try to figure out how can I make this uh, better. So I did optimize the area using the monitor uh, air support and putting the, the, uh, the screen over there. It does hide me a little bit of my main computers. So what I can do is that. So that's pretty neat. I also moved this. Uh, this is actually my rotator uh, remote. And it was like there behind those mic, those mic support. And it was not easy to get there when I was doing DX. So I just brought it back here. And it filled this part here that used to be for CDs that I removed the rack. It filled this part with the monitor and the, and the uh, rotator's uh, remote. So I don't need to see all the time, you know, the, the, uh, the power supply. So everything's back almost like it was. Uh, another thing that maybe you won't see, but my telephone is fixed here. I'll do a screenshot of the shack after, but my, my telephone is there. It used to be on that table there. It was not practical since I have to go in this dryer a few, uh, often. So that's about it. So if you want to do that, start with the DC. That's the easy part and do the DC distribution. So I can access my power bar just behind here with my end and plug anything and try uh, and you know uh, it's very very easy the crimper is also very useful I used to solder my uh, Anderson power pole the crimper went very very fast so click click and making a cable it's a matter of minutes maybe less so uh, that was uh, the fun part 
So I hope you enjoy and if you have any uh, projects similar to that, I know that people commented on my previous video, uh, you can send me pictures, uh, we can put on, on the website as well, you go on labonline.ca and you can go on our website and uh, see the picture after all, so uh, that will be good. So let me know if you want to share your, some picture of your shack, of your cable wiring organization. Uh, uh, you can send it to me if you want to keep it private, there's no problem. If you want to have it uh, post on the, uh, the web page, well, uh, that will be fun. So on behalf of our team, like usual, I would like to wish you my best 73s.